असलम एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ सैद अहबा बुखारी वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल द मैट कॉर्नर एंड टुडे इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गन बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द साइड डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द स्केपला बोन नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू डिटरमाइन द साइड ऑफ एनी बोन इज़ अ वेरी ट्रिकी थिंग बट विद दीज थ्री टिप्स यू गाइज कैन ईजी आइडेंटिफाई द साइड ऑफ एनी बोन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड हैव अ बोन इन योर हैंड सो यू गाइज कैन फोकस ऑन द लैंड मार्क्स विच आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सेकेंड यू शुड नो दैट हाउ टू प्लेस द बोन आदर ऑन द राइट साइड आदर ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड वाट आर द इंटीरियर एस्पेक्ट वाट आर द पोस्टीरियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द बोन सो यू शुड नो अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग एंड एंड द लास्ट यू शुड नो अबाउट द स्टोलॉजी ऑफ द बोन सो यू गाइज can easily identify it that either it belong to the right or either it belong to the left side of the body so just so these are the three basic tips for the side determination of a bone now if we just focus on the scapular bone so as you guys can see that the anterior surface or the costal surface of the scapula is more like a plane surface marked here in the purple color and if we turn around the scapula and look at over the posterior surface of the scapula so this prominent structure marked in the blue color is called as a spine of the scapula which is dividing the posterior surface into the upper half and the lower half so this is a prominent landmark by which you guys can identify the anterior and the posterior side of the scapular bone now uh, talking about the lateral and the medial side so the uh, the lateral side is more prominent because of the presence of the glenoid cavity while the medial side the medial border of the scapular bone is more like a plane border while on the lateral border you guys can see the glenoid cavity the acromion process and the coracoid process so these three processes are present on the lateral aspect of the scapular bone uh, now if we just to put the scapular bone in the skeleton so that you guys can get a more quick view of the bone so if we just put the bone back into the skeleton over here like this so as you guys can see that the costal surface is facing toward the rib cage of the body the posterior surface having the spine of the scapula is facing posteriorly so that it can provide attachment to the muscle and the lateral surface that is having the glenoid cavity lateral surface not but it's a border so the lateral border is having the glenoid cavity which is having a acromion process and a coracoid process originating from the scapular bone so these three structure are making the shoulder joint over here so as you guys can see that these three structure are located on the lateral aspect of the body so the costal surface is facing toward the rib the posterior surface is facing toward the back on the lateral surface the glenoid cavity of the scapula is articulating with the head of the humerus to form the shoulder joint so this is all about the side determination of the scapular bone so by keeping these few point in your mind you guys can easily identify the side of any bone and if you haven't watched the video of osteology of the scapula so i will put the link in the description you guys can find out so this is all about the side determination of the scapular bone i hope you guys understand it and if you like the video then make sure to like and subscribe to the mat corner see you in the next video take care bye bye allah hafiz